Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Finally, it's been a really long time and I'm very sorry for that. I've just been kind of busy with other stuff other than YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're just going to get into the video here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install OpenIV, but not like in my other like tutorials on how to install menu, for example, which you can also go watch and I'll leave a link in the description. But unlike those tutorials, this is a really in-depth tutorial on how to install OpenIV specifically. So let's get into it. So obviously, we're going to need to download OpenIV first. So we're going to go to OpenIV.com. And you're going to get this. This is uh, the OpenIV tool, as you probably know if you're watching this tutorial. So we're going to download it. There it is. And we're going to click it because we want to install. Now I'm going to choose English right here. Obviously, I, I, I'm not Russian, so I'm not going to choose Russian. Obviously, we can close that. I'm not Russian, so I'm going to choose English. There we go. Continue. Yeah, I'm going to accept the terms, whatever. Here, I'm just going to not create a desktop icon. And I'm going to click continue and it's going to install. It's only 20 megabytes, so don't worry about it. Just click next. Then it's going to install. And once it's done, it's going to say, I think it's going to say installation succeeded or whatever. Oh, completed successfully. Same thing. Whatever. You can just click close right there. So that was that. So now we can just go fire up OpenIV. So just uh, open up your Windows search bar and press and search for OpenIV and open it. There we go. So we're going to choose Windows right there. And then it's going to say this. Now, this is the part where most people run into trouble because they have no idea where GTA 5 is installed. They have no idea. So uh, I'm going to show you guys for each platform how you can find out where GTA 5 is installed. So we're going to start with a simple one. So Steam and the Rockstar Games launcher, so Social Club. And then I'm going to get into Epic Games, which is a bit more like weird to find out, but you can do it. I, I know you guys can do it. So let's get into Steam. Here we go. So this is Steam. And then go to GTA 5 in your library. And then press on this little manage thing, settings icon. Go to properties right there. And then go to local files right there. And then click browse right there. And then you can see exactly where your thing is located. So this thing right there, that is where GTA 5 is located. Now, if I want to do this, you can just go copy that and then just paste it in there. I don't no, you can't you can't do that. So you're just gonna have to go remember this. Go into browse and just find this. So that for, that's for Steam. That's pretty easy. Anyone can do that. So I'm going to close Steam right there. Social Club. Basically the same thing. You go to GTA 5. Go to settings. And then go to my installed games right there. GTA 5. And then view installation folder. And that's going to be exactly the same as Steam. So you can just go into that top bar and find where it is. Now for Epic Games, now this is the, the thing that's kind of annoying. So we're going to open a file explorer window right there. And I'm going to go to um, to my C drive, so where my Windows is installed. And then we're going to go to view right there. And go check this hidden items mark thing right there. Then, you, then this thing should show up, program data. I'm going to click on that. And then find the epic folder right there and then go to epic games launcher data manifests and then you should just go through each and every one of these to find out which one is gta 5. so here it says a notepad icon but if that isn't there for you just go open with and then just go with notepad and just do that and then you get all of this weird stuff so here you can see this is gta 5 here gta 5 so this right here, E GTA 5 is the location of where GTA 5 is installed. So that's what you want to like put in into OpenIV. So I'm going to show you. So here, E GTA 5 is a folder. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to browse, go to E, and GTA 5. It's right there, exactly as that file said. So that's it. So it should. So this has already mods in it, but 
for you, it's, it doesn't matter. So once you have the folder, select folder. And then it should say successfully gtfi.exe, blah, blah, blah. And then click continue, continue. And there you go. So this should, the first time that this happens, it should take, well, not too long, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. There you go, starting. So it worked. So OpenIV is now set up. And you can now start to mod GTA 5 and do some really awesome stuff like graphics mods and trainers and money and whatever. Um, I have tutorials on those things, so go watch those. But for now, this was how to set up OpenIV. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned how to do this. So click that subscribe button. If you did, hit the notification bell. Leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time.